Welcome to Monday, November the 30th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating God's holy word with you today in our daily devotion. The closing words of Ephesians chapter 3. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. What an ending to the first three chapters of Ephesians. The Apostle Paul has spent three chapters of this letter celebrating our incredible relationship that we have with him through faith in Jesus. Daily access we have to his throne of grace and the outpouring of his blessings of forgiveness and salvation to all who believe in his Son, our Savior from sin. The Apostle Paul chose to close the first three chapters by focusing our attention on this attribute or quality of God the Father called omnipotence, which means all-powerful. Listen to how the Apostle describes the power of Almighty God. We begin with the simple but revealing phrase, to him who is able. This verse is the inspiration of the Christian song many of you know, He is Able, which many have heard and many have sung in their own worship services. Listen to some of the lyrics of that beloved Christian song. He is able, more than able, to accomplish what concerns me today. He is able, more than able, to handle anything that comes my way. He is able, more than able, to make me what he wants me to be. Not only do the closing words of Ephesians 3 teach us that our Heavenly Father is able to do abundantly more than we could ever ask or think, but that blessing is worked in us daily through the power of the Holy Spirit. That is the inner power, not any power of ourselves, but the supernatural work each day of the Holy Spirit. That power that transforms us into the person and character of a child of God, a new spiritual creature who is a joint heir with Christ and a citizen of heaven. That special work of the Holy Spirit is called sanctification. His power that alone transforms, fashions, refines us from the inside out, making us holy for lives of holy living that conforms to the will of God and seeks to give him all the glory all of our life. For all the work and all the blessings that God our Father works through the power of his Spirit, he is worthy, more than worthy, to receive all glory and honor and praise for from him and through him and to him are all things. So in these first three chapters of Ephesians, we've been reminded that we are saved by God's grace alone through faith in Christ alone. Never forget, your salvation has nothing to do with yourself. Your salvation has nothing to do with your works, your kind acts or generous giving. For none of those can save or forgive or redeem. Our forgiveness, our redemption, our salvation comes through the work of the Holy Spirit that alone creates the saving gift of faith in Jesus Christ. And remember, you are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. So live your life giving glory to God alone. Listen to his voice alone. Obey his word alone. Do his will and give glory to his name. And the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be with you, with me, and with all believers now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, may your Holy Spirit continue the good work of making me holy in my thinking, my speaking, and my doing so that in all I do, I bring glory to your holy name. 
You called me out of spiritual darkness and death, and you brought me into the light of the gospel of your grace, through which I receive new life in Christ. Thank you for bringing me into his holy body, the church, where the Holy Spirit works through word and sacrament to lead us in growing in that saving faith that leads to life everlasting. Thank you, Father, for your gift of eternal life. May I never become complacent in that gift of saving faith, but may I live it and live in it each and every day and share that hope that I have in Jesus. As I look forward to living each day to your glory on this side of heaven and living with you forever with all the saints in heaven. In the saving name of Jesus, I now offer to you the prayer he taught all your children to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Fellow children of God, fellow members of the body of Jesus Christ, his one true church here on earth, the Lord God bless you and keep you. The Lord God make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord God look upon you with favor and by the power of the Holy Spirit bring you and keep you in that one saving faith in Jesus to life everlasting. Amen.